Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, uh, I'm recording this right after the last episode. I was, I'm was i really interested in getting that cataphract up and running, so I was just like, just itching to get it done. So, any comments, it's they're going to be a day behind, just so you know. So, I will be I'll be, we'll be looking at them. I, I did want to try on that Bombast uh, VSPL build, though, because I want to see how those work. So, a couple things have happened. We moved planets uh, between the, now and the last episode. I sold off a bunch of junk, uh, and we moved over to a, to a three and a half skull planet. Uh, just because I want to get some higher level missions uh, so we can at least have a bit more of a challenge. Um, so I did that. And let's go to the mech base real quick. There's only one minor change that I made to the other mechs. That was the Bushwhacker. Uh, I pulled out the MML and put it in the LRM-20 and a half ton patchwork materials. So this guy is got about 12 turns of LRM fire and 10 turns of SM fire. So... You know, it's it's going to be great for those long range missions missions where we need to take out uh, turrets and such. So um, the heat's not quite optimal, but um, I think it's going to work really really well. Uh, so that being said, let's have a look at the cataphract and see just what it's got here. So I uh, put the weapon mount in the arm, or let's we start with the weaponry here. So the weapon mount went in the arm with the bomb bass laser and medium VSPL. Second VSPL in the other arm backed up by a couple of uh, medium X-Pulse lasers. Uh, we've got a Warfare Suite for Defense, Exchanger, five heat sinks, uh, 280 core with a plus one cooling, double heat sink kit, obviously, Void System. I was thinking about going with um, the, um, what's it called? Um, Feral Lamellar, but I think the Void System right now is still working really, really well. We'll have to see as moving forward when we get into higher skull missions if it's still gonna be viable we may have to switch to feral lamellar but uh, right now it's got the void in that's e just easily swappable um, fire control system improved for the bonus uh, call chop modifier uh, enhanced imaging for plus one accuracy and clan sensors because that's the best one i had to throw in here um, so yeah that's about it uh, really it's pretty simple pretty straightforward um, firepower is not that bad 205 max damage it says but it's, i'm sure it's going to be more than that um, We'll see how the VSPLs and the Bombast laser perform. I haven't actually used them in this version of Rotec Tech yet, so we'll just have to see how that works out. All right, so that's this mech. So let's, I got a mission I already wanted to take here. So let's take a look here, go to contracts. Um, so I made a decision between episodes. I think what we're gonna end up doing um, is sort of mix and matching the pilots in the Lance, trying to keep them roughly in the same mechs that they're, that they're used to piloting. Um, with the exception of Sundance, um, Sundance will always be the, the second. Um, so it'll be Babiaga, Sundance, and then two other pilots. Um, so for, for instance, if we're bringing the Shadowhawk, it'll be Hot Dam. If we're bringing the uh, Black Knight, it'll be uh, Megasaur, um, that kind of thing, right? So uh, right now we're going to do Settling a Grudge. It's, attack, it's a battle against Clan Wolf. Um, we get to bring the Black Knight back in for this one. I want to see how, now that we've changed it around a little bit, see how it's working. So let's negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage. Not full sea bills, but full salvage. Um, I did sell, like I said, I did sell off a bunch of stuff, so we're pretty close to making our financial report. I had to do it just to, like once we had upgraded the uh, cataphract. It cost, uh, I don't know, like 700000 or something to get everything working in there. So it cost a fair bit to get that running. But anyway, uh, yeah, so let's remove the Shadow Hawk and Hot Dam. I'm going to pull the Wolverine out. I'm going to move Satori up. I'm going to bring the Bushwhacker for, actually, no, sorry. I'm going to bring in, yeah, let's bring in the Cataphract here. Sunflower, definitely the better pilot. Uh, I want to see how the Bushwhacker is running. And let's bring Megasaur back in the Black Knight. Uh, and we'll run this and see how it works. Command interface initiated. All right. Good to go, Commander. Okay, this map. Um, most likely we're going to be facing two lances. What's up, boss? So let's see where our sprinting is at. Yeah, that's actually not bad. That's the, with the 350 core. Let's actually not bad at all. All right, let's target the ground. Out of range. Oops, shit. What can I do for you? Can move up. Bring those missiles up here. 
Yeah, hearing, already hearing vehicles over on the, on the uh, right hand side there. Cataphract's got crap movement, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm hearing vehicles. They're going to spot us early. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Of course you do. Vapor Eagle, Hellfire, Kit Fox, Saracen, Epona Pursuit, Clan Pike. Hellfire is what? It's a heavy mech. I'm thinking that's the guy that needs to get hit. And hit hard. Okay, nice. Tagged. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving out. Um Do I want to swarm this guy? That's warlorded anyway. LK is a little better. Swarm looks like it's doing more damage though. In theory. Yeah. Oop, something got hit. Want some more, huh? Something got hit awfully. Pegasus. Well, you know your job. Byron. Yeah, I'm going to have to rethink my uh, deployment too now. Look at that Kit Fox. Look at this thing. Look at it. Is that not awesome looking or what? LRM 15s, LRM 5, ER medium. Look at the damn thing. It's just like one friggin' missile boat. Pretty damn awesome looking. Okay, let's get up here. Shield the Black Knight a bit. So, okay. That's not good. So VSBL times three. Do we, where do we click here? Four, one at 84, okay, that's it. The more you fire, the damage goes down. So it's really like a medium laser for four tons or you can do multiple shots and increase the damage over. That's actually not bad. And then you can manage your heat a little bit with it as well. Now the Bombast, so we got ranged, damaged, or damage, and standard. So damage is less chance to hit, obviously more damage. Standard and range. Okay, so I guess there's no difference between standard and range at this point, but it, with another mech it would be. And these guys are obviously just the axe pulses. So that's actually not, well... I don't know, 30, 30, 55, and triple 15s. That's the heat on it there. Yeah, for four tons, I don't know, I'm not a big VSPL fan. These are four ton lasers. That's an awful lot of heat. It's an awful lot of heat when you generate, when these crank up. Like, look at that. I don't know. I guess if you're if you're a lighter mech and it's your primary weapon, sure, maybe. I don't know. I'd still rather go with two medium pulse lasers. I guess if you don't have the laser hard points, it's okay. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the. Uh, I want to try with the next next episode. I'll try it with the double PPC system and see how it works. All right, let's hit this guy. Yeah, I don't know. 
See what it does when it gets closer, that big Bombast 80 damage. But then again, the Bombast is what? It's like 6 tons, I think? The Clan ER PPCs are 6 tons each. I've got to add the capacitor and a lot of heat sinking, but we could have two 82 damage weapons doing over 90 with the, uh, with the Warlord ability. So, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to, to stay with the Bombast. It's interesting, though, the, the varying distances with damage and stuff. I think it's a better way of approaching it than damage drop-off. It's kind of cool. All right, what's going on here? I'm trying to decide what to do. That's what's going on. I think we should be able to drop that Hellfire. I, wonder, I don't think they can see us. The damn void systems, man. Because that Kit Fox didn't shoot. He just moved over there. He could have easily shot any of our guys. So I wonder if we should pull back and kill the Kit Fox. Or pull back, we'll shoot the Hellfire, try and take it out of the battle. Take the Kit Fox down, and then we'll work on the Vapor Eagle. There's probably another mech back here. Yeah, see, these guys can't see us. They're like, we're being shot at, and we don't know what to do. Please, somebody tell us what to do. Well, I'm about to tell you what to do. You can die. That's what you can do. I'm about to play Stompy Stompy Robots here in a minute. Waiting for order. Okay, we do have somebody else back here. What do we got? Stormcrow. 55 ton. We know that mech really well. All right, let's hammer this guy again, and um, yeah, LK is giving us a bit better chance to hit. So let's just go with that. We'll go with the hit chance. Another hit like that, and you're toast. No, I don't think he is. I think another hit like that, you're just gonna piss him off. I know we have a better chance. Well, yeah, you know what? We have a better chance to hide in the woods, so let's do that. We can't move that far anyway. We'll take the da damage reduction if they do see us. And we'll hammer the Hellfire. We should be able to kill him. Oh, or just completely wreck him. Wreck him. Damn near killed him. He's going back up there, eh? Does he see us? That's the question. Okay, well, yeah. Yes, I'm glad I put the laser AMS on that thing. <laughs> oh, he only hit two. Looked like he hit a lot more, though. Roger. Let's hit this guy. We should be able to kill him. Nope. Target's taken a critical hit. He sure has. Yeah, you can only see the Black Knight right now. Uh, probably the Cataphract too. The Knight is way out in the open. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. Think about what you want to do. And then execute the plan. Oh, you're moving into Stompy Stompy Robot range. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of misses. I want this pike to come up, so at least I can shoot him. Oh, you got an Ultra 10. You cheeky monkey. You are next. This Hellfire should probably drop with, a, with an LRM attack. And then I can target this guy who's standing out in the open with the uh, larges. I'll just move over here, shoot him in his side, maybe try and take his leg off or something. Come on, let's go. I wonder if this has got to do with the slow move, like the slow movement. 
has got to do with the stealth systems, what they can see, what they can target, just making a decision whether they're going to stay or run. I don't mind it. It makes the game more realistic. Like this vehicle, if you think about it, that's the, that's the right move, right? Because he's got, like, his armor is completely stripped off on the one side and probably the front as well. That's the right move. Let, some, let us target somebody else before he does something. So I don't mind it taking a little while longer. I just wish it was faster. I think I'm, I don't know. I find fighting the clans, I don't, I don't know what it is. They, they, they just seem to have better, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna use the word tactics because it really isn't tactics. Better AI, I guess. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Okay, we can't get that guy's side. We can definitely move in. Mm, I don't know if we want an offensive push then. Pretty low chance to hit. Let's just shoot him. Surprise. Ready for orders. No, I want Satori next, thanks. Uh, can we get a direct line of sight on him? We can. Just walk it up here. Gonna use the LK for the better chance to hit. This guy is unstable though. Um, Twenty-three left in the CT. Let's go this route. Okay, got the kill on it. Wasn't sure if we were going to hit. No, let's get in the woods. And we're going to switch up the Bombast. Let's go for damage. That's range. There's the damage there. I'm going to Warlord this because we're in close now. It's got a nice big fat damage bonus on this guy. Yeah, he barely does anything, but still... Way to spread it around. Really? Commander. On it. Wow, you're really hot. Probably because the AMS went off firing. Engaging the target. I don't know if he's fast enough to outrun me now. Still gotta find a supercharger. Yep. You know what those storm crows are all about. So we're gonna back up over here so that storm crow probably can't see us. Or at least has a less less of an angle on us. And then we'll target that Vapor Eagle again. Although he's pulled himself into cover, so maybe we can... Don't know if we can hit the Kit Fox. We'll figure it out. They've got a lock on me. Really? Oh, because we got a missile attack coming in, that's why. Or do we? We don't. Then we're gonna hit this kit fox then. Can't wait to pick up my first Omni mech. Come on. Yep, knew that was coming. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, six hits. Nice. AMS. AMS FTW, man. Good thing about it, too, is it generates heat every time it fires, so it's... I want... Give me the heat. Give me your heat. Oh, by the way, I was able to get... Uh, um, I think it was um, Guts 9 on Megasaur, so now we've got a uh, plus 20 uh, over heat threshold. And I also got, um, yeesh. That's not good. 
I also got um, guts eight on um, crap. We're going down. I also got gut eight guts eight on uh, Babiaga. So now she's got minus ten percent heat generation, which helps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing Stompy Stompy Robot with this guy. I'm not going to give that guy my back, though. Let's just come around here. Here it comes. I didn't check the damage out. Crap. I'm sure you guys saw it, though. Boom. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. I should have checked what my... Uh, 549 melee with the claws intact that is just I don't, even, I don't even know what to say to that don't even know what to say hmm I can do this and that's a pretty good chance to hit there so we're going to take it There goes half his missiles. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We got to shoot on the opponent. Good to go. Mm, let's not turn our back to that guy. Okay, so Pegasus is taking damage in the side. Wow, this is a really bad chance to hit, eh? Opponent's got all the AP gosses. So let's just hit this guy. Okay, nice. Bye bye. You're a crater, buddy. I think we took half this guy's weapons. Yeah, so... Doesn't have that much effectiveness now. So you still got lots of armor. Kind of. <sighs> Good thing we're in the forest. Still got this guy. It's got dead fire. Stormcrow still got a lot of stuff on it too. It'll be 10x. So he's got weapon mounts and stuff too. Love to walk out of here with some weapon mounts. So we're going to shift. Hmm. You fucking opportunist. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, I know. It's a good thing you have lots of armor. Still, though, that head hit's going to be. A, if you get a head hit, it's going to be a problem. Okay, Kit Fox moving back up top. Coming from this side, we're gonna we're gonna try and step just to cool off. Oh, nice! He hit. Wasn't expecting that to be a step, but good. Thank you. Just gonna shoot at this guy. Get my heat back up again. Roger. Got 
Gotta watch where my back is turned here. And we'll just... Ah, let's... We got the Warlord. Let's use it. Firing. Put some missiles on him in a second. Oh, he's moving again. Did he just turn his back to me? I hear ya. Oh, he just backed up. I see. Yep, yeah, let's hammer this guy. Should've used the swarm though. I'm, but I'm trying to minimize damage on the storm crow. That's the one I want to try and pull the legs off of. Huh. Interesting. Probably cooling off. Maybe, I don't know. Receiving you. Yep. Yeah, not liking the loadout. I think at this level of fighting, it's just lacking the punch. But maybe I'm wrong. Once I try those e the two ER PPCs, we'll see how it goes. And maybe we can turn the other bushwhacker rather than into a missile mech. We can turn it into a uh, close range brawler. I like having the indirect fire ability though. Especially those some of those direct fire turrets. You definitely want to have that indirect fire capability. Hmm. So his Ultra 10 has gone. I know this guy's uh, fortified here, but... Wow, only one hit. Yes, Commander. Okay. Going full throttle. And then, Commander, I swear to God, this Black Knight... Came out of nowhere and just killed me. Good to go. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's dust this guy. Gonna use the swarm firing. Oh, well, he's still going. Not having a good day, but he's still going. You should have moved more than that. Bionic man, sorry, the bionic woman's coming in in a second. Come on. Thinking about it's not going to help you. Wow, this vehicle goes before me. Uh, we do have a we do have a wound though, so that doesn't help at all. Yeah, I think that that cataphract didn't have to close so much. If it had just had two PPCs and was just kind of plodding around back here, blasting people from a range, um, it might work a little better. Although we do need two weapon mounts to make that work, I think. With with only just one with only one weapon mount, it's not going to work as well. We've got to get that second one in there. Um, sure. Nice. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Well, I guess he sees us. 
How many did I get? Five of them. Ah, not bad. I'll take five. Here comes the Bionic Knight. We've only got one spot we can attack it from, eh? Wait, is this the... That's the Vapor Eagle. This is the Stormcrow, eh? 25. That goes on 22. We go before him, so let's do this. On the move. Wow, you're going to die horribly here, buddy. Locked on for physical attack. Wow. Hope we can salvage that. Now, if we can just get the rest of our mechs operating at the same level, we'll be unstoppable, I tell you. Hit with the tag, at least. Waiting for orders. Don't need to tell me twice. Hit this guy again. Oh, I saw it. Ready for orders. Well, at least you got a chance to cool off. You're just pissing her off. It's a good thing we're trying to take you alive, buddy. Move order received. It's a good thing we're trying to take you alive. I know you got lots of really good stuff on you, that's why. Alright, let's get this leg. Wow, she's doing so poorly with those <sighs> large lasers, really. Don't kill him. Okay, only a little bit left there. Let's turn these two off. Um, yeah. Ah, not enough. Five short. Orders? Not for long, though. On it. There we go. Yeah, that should do it. All right, we'll take care of this guy now. I think I hit something good. Okay, you don't need to move. Warlord this up, give a better chance to hit, more damage, firing at the leg. Really? Oh, never mind. Waiting for orders. Thought you didn't hit the leg there at all. Go after the leg, we're just gonna shoot two. Just reserve. Got it. Better chance with the VSPLs. Or the X pulses, that is. So what's it got left here? 21. Um, sure. Oh, yeah. There we go. Savage. Nice. Now I know we smashed the other mechs, but... It is what it is. All right, 155,000. Ah, sunflowers out for 12 days. Hopefully the repairs aren't that much on the cataphract. Um, Hellfire piece. It's a possibility. AP Gosses. Clan LRMs are nice, but... We want Seabills to be able to fix our guys up, so we definitely want to take a Clan XL engine... Oh, there's a 330 core, too. Yeah, that was from the uh, Stormcrow. Um, 
I wonder if we should take a clan double heatsink kit. I'm gonna drop it in for now. Find out what else we got here. So I did not see. Really, I didn't see any uh, weapon mounts. Interesting. Thought for sure there would have been a weapon mount. Huh. Hellfire piece, I think. So let's go this route. We got clan heat sinks. So we have clan double heat sinks. It's going to save some space in one mech anyway. Clan XL for sale and Hellfire piece, sure. Stormcrow piece, Vapor Eagle piece, AP Goss. Oh, LB10X, okay. A couple of SRMs that we can sell. Advanced TC. LB ten X ammo. Okay, not bad. Okay. Hundred thousand. Yeah, we knew it was gonna be a fair bit. Twenty-three days though. I don't think it'll take that long. Let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Wow, cataphract, eighteen days, really. How long till financial report? Twenty-four. Alright, let's give it a fair shake we've got the c-bills let's go to the store real quick i want to sell one of those xl engines just so we have the c-bills and i don't forget um let's go here and we got like four of them now i think yeah let's just sell one of these excellent and then we can afford to just wait for the cataphract to be back i think we're gonna run it the same configuration. It's like we tell our kids, you gotta try everything twice before you can make a really good uh, decision on it. So we're gonna pass on the game. You never wanna put yourself in a position where you're taking from your crew. It was funny, I remember playing a game of cards with the guys at work. Job's done. And they said, $20 Andy, like the $20, you buy $20 worth of chips and once your chips are gone, you're done, we're, we're done playing. And I said, I don't play for money. And they said, what? I said, just give me 20 bucks of chips and if I win, right, you guys keep your money. And they looked at me strangely, I'm like, I don't play for money, honestly, right? I'll just, I'll play, if you guys want to play for money, you go ahead. But if I win, I won't, you guys keep your money. And I cleaned the table out and they kept, they kept their money. I said, that's... The reason I don't play for money. My grandfather taught me how to play cards. I play cards very well. Um, and I still remember <laughs> saying to the last person that was, was playing, right? I had this kind of goofy look on my face and he, was, he wasn't he was sure. We, we, I, I'm like, I'll, I'm all in. And I throw all the things and he kind of looked at me because it was like the like last hand. We had to get back to work. And it was like the last hand, right? I'm like, I'm all in. And he looks at me. And I stared right at him and I said, look, if you're going to play cards, you got to learn to piss with the big boys. So he went all in thinking that I was bluffing and I had a really great hand and I beat him. So I'm like, you guys keep your money. I don't want to take your money. Because it just, you know, then it's fun, right? It's fun. Everyone laughs and walks away. I lost. It was a big joke. But there's that potential of harboring resentment. And I, I'm not that kind of guy. I can't do that. So... I still remember the look on my dad's face when my grandfather first said, I was like, sorry, sorry for digressing here, guys. I just had a flashback of me when I was a kid. I remember we were, we were in Winnipeg and I was eight years old and my grandfather was visiting us and he said, come on, let, come on, Bill. That's my dad. Let the kid play. And he's like, well, I don't want to be taking his money and feel, all, you know, him walking away crying. And we were playing a nickel dime quarter poker, right? It's like he gets $5 in coins, right? It's like, so what? You know, this is like back in the 70s, though, but still it's like, you know, so what, right? So I ended up winning that day, and I remember gloating, and my dad having this look on his face. He was really, really upset because I was gloating, and I didn't know any better. I was a kid, right? And then I, and it was at that moment I realized that it's like, yeah, I won money, and it feels good for me, but it doesn't feel good for other people, right? So I kind of learned it at that point. That's, I mean, I, I still played for money at that point, but it wasn't until I was a teenager that I really started feeling like, okay, you know, I can't do this anymore because I just feel bad when I win money off people. And it's like, ah, uh, and they just feel terrible. And I know how I, f I feel when I lose. So anyway, I never play for money. So uh, that being said, let's uh, have a look at the contracts here. And we're going to play for some money here. <laughs> Covert surveillance. Let's go attack this base. 
Uh, it's a local government base, so it's not that bad. But it's Four Skull, so it's kind of up in our, our uh, avenue here. It's going to give us a better chance to see what we can do. Going to go full salvage. Good payout on this one. So um, I think we're going to leave the Bushwhacker probably behind on this one. Um, because of the limited ammo, my guess is that we're going to need something a little bit more punchier. Uh, at least we have backup lasers on the Wolverine. We do have 10 turns of AC-10 or AC-20 firing, but if you need more than 10 turns of double AC-10 firing or AC-20 firing, then you're doing something wrong, especially at four skulls. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be, <laughs> I'm sure I'll get to know ammo and be like, I'm doing something wrong. All right, let's deploy this lance and get it done. All right. Sorry, there's a bit of an edit there. I had to go downstairs for a second. Alrighty. First turn, let's sprint in. I wonder if you're going to be effective in this battle. I know I said base capture and uh, stuff. We're not going to take the Black Knight, but this is a four skull, so we may need it. Not very far. What can I do for you? Uh, you can wait. Receiving. Copy that. Okay, so we got Thunderbolt and Wolfhound so far. Thunderbolt in sight and just firing. Okay, so he's got a rotary too. That's interesting. Okay, let's. We don't really even get that much extra range by sprinting, do we? Not that much. Let's just block then. Waiting for order. You get more range by sprinting though. Got it. And you got the ER weapon, so let's hit this guy if we can. Got it. All right, tags on. That's perfect. Rule found. Standing by. I've got something. Galahad. Black Knight v. Galahad. Oh, it's because of this. <sighs> Target acquired. Let's get warmed up. Just getting warmed up for the party. Just stand there and die. I hear ya. Moving out. I'm gonna free up some space for that bombast. All right. Okay, now I'm interested to see here. So if we move up. Roger that. So the bombast standard range is 39, ranged 45. Wait. What? I don't understand how this is working here. Why would I use... I don't know. Roger that. Don't know. It's confusing. Um, uh, don't see any turrets. I'm still reading enemy oh, shut up. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Centurion. All right, shoot the gal head. Tag, you're it. These guys can't see us. Engaging 
All right. Two nice solid hits there. Waiting for orders. On my way. Could probably do the same with thing with her. Sure can. Got it. Oh Christ! Really? Commander. Ma 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 Megasaur. Megasaur. Leave one off. Firing. I copy. I never expect her to hit. Still can't see us. Ready for orders. Still not in range. Confirmed. Shouldn't have really moved forward like that, but firing. Gives them more of a chance to see me. But I'm thinking most likely this guy's not gonna have a leg anyway. Yeah, I heard it come off. There it is. You just rest right there. Good to go. Coordinates received. Let's hope we hit with that Ultra 20. Take six. Whoops. Supposed to be shooting the leg. Supposed to be shooting the leg. Oh. Does it really matter at this point? You didn't kill him. Uh, no, you did. See? <laughs> Why do I even talk? Oh, you didn't kill him. Then he dies. It waited. It waited for me to say something. You know, you saw that, right? You all saw that. Just waited for me to say something. What's the difference between this guy? I guess he's in the woods? Maybe he's... Does this... I don't think Centurions have... What's a Centurion 10... 7S. I'm only doing 19 damage against them. Well, this guy's in the open. Start off on that leg. I hear ya. Please, the leg. The leg. Sweep the leg. He says as he warlords and then forces her to shoot the leg. Wow. Receiving you. See how far you can get down here. Well, we might as well engage. Full speed, no target. Just shoot this guy. Firing on target. Huh. Sees the Black Knight coming, he just runs. Orders. I gotta get the hell out of here. Move order received. Didn't sign up for this shit. Come on, hit the leg. Locking on. 100 bucks says it hit the, the uh, left leg, not the right. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do I even talk? Why do I even talk? Oh. I guess I need to be more specific. Looks like enemy reinforcement. Looks like Looks like we didn't kill fast enough. Extended range missile carrier. Another missile carrier. Yes, commander. You need to wait for a second. I don't want you running in there and getting your ass killed. Ah, he's flanking.
We could murder that Galahad assassin. Don't want that, that uh, Centurion shooting me. Valkyra. Oh, this is that could be the melee version. Let's hit the missile carrier. Wow, really? Maybe not. This guy's got two Gauss rifles. Well, if you hit it with the tag. Going up the hill, huh? What can I do for you? Hmm. We already got the tag on the missile carrier. No I've got enough gun for everyone. Might as well shoot a tag off at this guy. He's been hard to hit, so maybe it'd help out. Commander. This guy's got some That's speed. Right. Not that much speed, though. Don't understand the difference between ranged and standard. Maybe I just haven't got into the ranged category yet. What's up, boss? Oh, how badly do I want to do this? Pretty damn bad. Let's move. Thank you for the extra heat. Appreciate it. Galahad's got two Gauss rifles. This guy's just got a couple of, uh... I think it's got to be from there, unfortunately. This guy's going to get wrecked. Um, so we're hitting for 549. So just for interest's sake, if we use Berserker... 823? Think he'll survive that? No, I guess not. Mech destroyed. That's there's something wrong. That they, they, they can't do that anymore. That's ridiculous. 823 damage. There's just no way. Okay, I'm opening a pop here, guys. Sorry if it if it clicks. Apologize. Try and do it quietly. Really? I'm sorry, but something shouldn't be hitting for 823 damage, and this is only a 75 ton mech. There's just no way. Huh. Uh-huh. You better get away from her. She's pissed and she's coming for you. I 
I guess I get the wolfhound. Yep, looks like I get the wolfhound. All right. All right, not bad. Waiting on you, Commander. Not bad. Uh, Ultra twenty. Let's stay stable. Let's stay in the woods. Keep ourselves turned if we can. And we're overheating because of fire. Oh. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah. So let's multi. And the bomb bass will go for damage. And VSPLs, well, eight, really? Wait, oh, this is going on B. These two can go on B. And these will go on A. Fire. Acknowledged. Wow, really? Wow. Thank you. They still got their missile boats to go yet. Yeah, stay back there. Black Knight's gonna stomp you, stomp you robot, both of you guys. Thank you for getting within range. Appreciate that. Wow, we go slowly this turn. Wolfhound's probably Wolfhound or Assassin. Assassin's going first. Here he comes. You really want to do that? You know I'm packing an Ultra Twenty, right? Of course, I am standing in fire, so there is that. Ready for orders. Okay, going full throttle. Thank goodness for Warlord. Still didn't help with the fire, though. Wow. Really? Target lock on enemy. And of course you missed with the big one. Yeah, turn I'm gonna change the clan ER PPCs and see what happens. Hopefully we can get a weapon weapon mount out of this uh, battle here. Now is that the melee version? It is, so we gotta stay the hell away from her. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Engaging. Okay. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Hmm.
Nope, still too hot. Uh, you know what? Let's use the two ER mediums. That way we can save the Ultra, get our recoil back. Uh -huh. I want to use the Ultra on the uh, Valkyra. I'm showing minor damage. You can't move fast enough, buddy. Assassin? Yeah, he's got 20. He's going on 25. Not far enough, buddy. Not far enough. Ah, I was hoping to hit with the tag. Shit, he goes before us. Apparently so does the, the uh... We'll found two. No, 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 no. What? Minefield damage. What? Good to go. Did he just not have enough? Highly likely he just didn't have enough to attack. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever it was, he was a dumbass. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Doesn't matter where I step, this guy's dead. I don't think there's a vehicle in the game right now that this guy couldn't step on and kill instantly. Well, we can't run from this guy. Don't have the speed. Excuse me. Why is this only three? Uh, I have no idea. Here it comes. Inflicted some heavy damage. Well, he's unstable. Not that it helps. Yeah, definitely want to get those clan AMSs and everything. Okay, let's get in the open because I want to have a better chance to hit this guy. Now, do we just shoot him or how much has he got left in his leg? I have no idea. Fifty-four, huh? But if we hit, we're gonna hit that torso. No, I think we just shoot him. What's up, boss? Roger that. See if we can knock his ass down. Copy that. Well, one hit. Crap. We still go before him, though. Got the Ultra 20 attack before he moves. Okay, their assassin's got to go. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, you do that. What can I do for you? See ya. Not fucking around with that guy. On my way. 
Not messing around with that guy. Receiving you. Coordinates received. All right, overheating. Wow. Oof, nice hit. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. Mm, I'm just going to fire. You want to know what the worst thing for a wolfhound to see? A sprinting black knight heading straight towards them, completely outfitted with melee gear. That's probably the worst thing they could see. Well, it's the worst thing this guy could see at this moment. See ya! See, I told you, he's running away. It's the worst thing he could possibly think of right now. He's like, I'll take the Ultra 20 to the back. <laughs> I don't want this guy chasing me down. Really? You couldn't give me the Ultra 20? <laughs> You're just not fast enough to get away, buddy. He's right. He's still running. You're not fast enough to get away, buddy. It's a valiant attempt, but maybe the Centurion will come out. Centurion will come out and provide some shielding for you, maybe. I don't know. I copy. You know, if this map wasn't finite, <laughs> if this map wasn't finite, that black, that uh, um, wolfhound might have a chance. <laughs> Just want to show you what you're in for, buddy. That's all I, that's all I want to do right now. Location confirmed. Megasaur's like, see this? This is going to be you. I think she hit him right in the CT. She just basically put her fist in the guy's chest and pulled out his fusion core. <laughs> this is gonna be you! Oh, it's even gonna be worse now that you don't have a leg. Just bail. Dude, just bail out. Bail out, it's just getting worse by the second. It's just getting worse by the second. Death by punch. Oh. What can I do for you? So Tori's gonna come in and hide him off the hide the kill. He wanted the all, ultra twenty, so here you go. There you go. And stay down. Commander. Can you get in the base? Ah, uh, not yet. Understood. We gotta turn. Moving back. Ready for order. Roger that. Digging in. Good work, guys. 
waiting for orders. There we go. Got it. Well, oops, I meant to do this. That wasn't too bad of a mission. I think we had the right right uh, mechs for this one. Could have used with the miss could have used the missile mech a little bit more, but not bad. Mission successful. Okay, contract payment increased by 10%. It's a nice chunk of change. 352. Yeah, some good experience. I think the Bushwhacker in that case underperformed, but wow, we could get four Thunderbolt parts. ELRMs. I'm thinking Thunderbolt parts more than anything. Combat shields are nice. Um, I say we roll the dice and go for the Thunderbolt. Oh, uh, weapon mounts. There's two of them too. And a Pro Double Heatsink. Damn. Let's go this route. Oh, we got two Thunderbolt parts. Another Iron Curtain part. Uh, and basically junk. I mean, I guess it's okay for salvage. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 5S version. Okay, nice. I was wondering, was, as we were loading, as I was waiting, I was wondering if we had extra Thunderbolt parts, because I knew we had a couple pirate parts, but I didn't realize we had others. Nice, 37,000. So we made about 300,000 on this one. So I was just thinking, if we did get a Thunderbolt, what the new Lance could look like. And we could go with a Catapult Missile Mech. We could go Black Knight Melee Mech. The Cataphract ER PPC Long Range Build or the ER Large Laser build, and then the Thunderbolt, depending on what it is here. So we could have a basically a Heavy Lance running now. It's going to take C-Bills, so maybe tomorrow I pull off a couple of, during the day I try and pull off a couple of milk runs to get the C-Bills, to get enough to get these guys up and running. And we go with it, we start moving into a Heavy Lance now, because we're not going to get much off this... I thought this was the S. This is the pirate version. It said S on it. He told me S. The jerk. Huh. Two ballistic, four energy, and two missile. It's kind of a weird ass loadout. Let's repair it and max the armor out. Oh, we got a pro double heatsink still. Two of them. Nice. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Alright. That's awesome. So we're gonna get that running. We've got a couple things here. Let's manage the task a bit better. Cataphract is expensive. So we should be able to pull off one more mission, I think. Uh, wait a minute. No, Cataphract's seven days. Can't do it before the... Well, we could. Pilots are back in five. We'd have enough mechs to pull off one more mission on this planet. So next episode, we'll pull off another mission. Um, let's, get the, let's get everybody back here. There we go. One, one more day left. Um... So we'll pull off another mission on this planet, and then we'll get, I'll probably, tomorrow I'll probably run, um, yeah, I'll probably run a couple of just milk runs, and just go all sea bills, and then hopefully we'll have enough uh, funds to be able to bring the, yeah, I think we're going to drop some mechs out, um, I know this has been a long episode. I think what we'll do is we'll... Ah, God. It's a tough... I only want to keep eight mechs out. So, I'll probably... Do we... I don't know. What do we keep? The two Bushwhackers. 
the Wolverine because it's got the ace, the twenty build, and the Shadowhawk, and re pull the Griffin out. Like, do we keep the Flame Hawk running as it is? Probably. And we remove the Griffin. That's probably what we'll do. Yeah, we'll probably remove the Griffin and bring forward a catapult. Yeah, let me think about that. So we'll be running a heavy and a medium lance at that point, which I think is pretty good. Um, do we want to have a melee mech in the second lance, though? And if we do, which one is it going to be? Have to figure that out. All right. Well, I don't know. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's figure it out next episode. But it's a lot of things to think about. If you guys got any comments, drop it in the comment section down below. If you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.